to trade in the stock market, any person needs to connect to the stock exchange and it works like a trading terminal. Trading terminal is used to buy and sell stocks and keep track of your profits and losses. To keep an eye on the market and to manage your funds or money, it is important to see stock charts and access trading indicators. In this video, we will talk about Kite Trading Terminal, LOIN. The trading terminal contains all the information about your trading account, hence it is a very important place. Hence the brokers usually keep the login process very strict. Under this process, you have to fill the username and password, and apart from that, you have to enter the login details on the phone. OTP or secret question has to be answered. When you log into this platform, you have to put your favorite stocks in a list, which has been named Market Watch. You can understand it as if you have a blank paper and you can write the names of your favorite stocks in it. You can write, once you have made this list, you can easily trade those stocks, get information about them, view their charts, buy and sell them, and see the last traded price of the stock in Market Watch. The percentage change in the price is visible. The price of the stock in the last trade is last traded price. LTP tells us what the price of the stock is going on at the moment. The percentage change tells us that the price of the stock at the closing of the market on the previous day is the current price. What is the percentage change in previous day's close price? Previews day closing. At what price did this stock close on the previous? LTP tells us what the price of the stock is going on at the moment. The percentage change tells us that the price of the stock at the closing of the market on the previous day is the current price. What is the percentage change in previous day's close price? Preview day. Open high, low and close tell us that the stock is trading in a range today. Volume tells us how many shares are in the stock at any point of time. You will get this information under the Market Depth tab. If you move the mouse or cursor over the name of the stock, you will see the buy, sell, market date and type of stock inform information. If you click on the market date, you will see the complete information mentioned above. You will get the information and also you will see the five best bid and ask. Bid tells you that there is a buyer for that stock in the market at a given price. The highest bid means that it is the highest price at which a buyer is buying stock through trading terminal. We will understand this from the perspective of Kite Trading Terminal of Zeroda. For this, you have to add whatever stock is in your watch list. For example, if it is SBI stock, then move the cursor over the stock and press B. Press as you see on the screen. Now an order form comes up with some information pre-filled, which includes the quantity of the price is filled. We have to change it as per our requirement. The first drop-down option will appear. Order type will be filled next to the name of the exchange. On clicking this, you will see four options. Limit order, two market orders, three, stop loss, four, market stop loss. Let us understand what these options mean. You place a limit order when you are sure that I want to buy the stock at this price. Let's say you want to buy SBI stock at R is 500 per share. Now we have decided the price. If there is a limit order, then we will place a limit order. Market order is when you do not have any fixed price in mind and you want to buy it at the market price which is prevailing in the current market. The price of SBI stock is ours 500 and you want to buy it at this price. If you want to buy at price, then you will place market order. Information pre-filled, which includes the quantity of the price is filled we have to change it as per our requirement. The first drop-down option will appear. Order type will be filled next to the name of the exchange. On clicking this, you will see four options. 
Limit order. Two market orders. Three. Stop loss. Four. Market stop loss. Let us understand what these options mean. You place a limit order when you are sure that I want to buy the stock at this price. Let's say you want to buy SBI stock at R is 500 per share. Now we have decided the price. If there is a limit order, then we will place a limit order. Market order is when you do not have any fixed price in mind and you want to buy it at the market price which is prevailing in the current market. The price of SBI stock is ours 500 and you want to buy it at this price. If you want to buy at price, then you will place market order. Stop loss order protects you from bad situations in the market. Suppose you have bought SBI stock at RS500 with the hope that the stock will go up to RS500 and RS520, but if the stock price starts falling, so you can save yourself from loss if we decide what is the maximum loss we are ready to bear. For example, suppose you are not ready to bear more loss than the price of RS475. This means that you want to take a loss of RS25 in the stock you are buying at R's 500. Now, whenever the market starts falling and the stock comes to R's 475, your stop loss will be activated and you can take a loss of R's 25 from this trade. Stop loss order will be exited. It is a passive order, i.e., to make this order active, we have to enter a trigger price. This ticket price is slightly above or equal to your stop loss price and this is the same limit, after crossing which the stop loss order becomes active from passive. For example, we have bought SBI stock at RS500. Suppose this trade goes bad and we want to exit it at RS475. Then our stop loss price will be the trigger price is RS475 because at this price our stop loss order gets activated. RS is above or equal to the stop loss price. We can place it at or above R's 475. Now we type the order again. Now we get the number of shares of the stock, or you will have to select the quantity. You will remember that we have to buy one stock of SBI, so we will fill one in the quantity box. We have written our number. Now we have to read the product type. In the delivery trade, we will have to select CNC. This means that by buying this stock, you will get ours. You want to hold this stock for a few days or months or years, and you want this stock in your DMAT account. If you want to trade, this means that by buying this stock, you will get ours. You want to hold this stock for a few days or months or years, and you want this stock in your DMAT account. If you want to trade intraday, then you will choose NRML or MYS. MYS is a margin product. Once all this information is filled, your form is ready to go to the market. As soon as you press the submit button, you will get an order ticket number, which will identify your order E intraday. Then you will choose NRML or MEs. MIS is a margin product. Once all this information is filled, your form is ready to go to the market. As soon as you press the submit button, you will get an order ticket number, which will identify your order.